I'm Nabil Mirza. This is Sean Tu. It's Kaylee Payne. Together we are Taken Strangers, and this is our boy about our EP or demo mixtape thing entitled KNS, which is our initials. Uh, the technology we use in our songs are uh, not your everyday basement recording. Uh, we used a, a very high tech program called Logic Pro X that a lot of uh, famous EDM and uh, uh, other users that, um, that produce music on SoundCloud put out. The first song on our album is Shadows, which is the song I wrote, and the genre of my song is alternative pop. And the vocals are by Selman, and the guitar is by Ben. And the demographic for alternative pop is 16 to 25 year olds, and so that's the audience we are trying to market my song to. Uh, the next song on the album is uh, called Real Life, and that is written by me. Uh, the genre is rap. Uh, vocals are uh, by yours truly, me. And then the beats were uh, produced by Nabil right here. Um, the demographics, uh, listeners were from 19 to 34 years of age, which is an early college student to a late college student post-grad, and those into their, um, early into their uh, adult life. Uh, finally, the last song on the album is Bluebird, written by me. Um, it's alternative ambient. I used one guitar to record it, pretty much. Um, so it fits in the same demographic as Kaylee's song in that it reaches out to like 16 to 24 year olds, or whoever should like, I do that kind of music. So overall, we are trying to market the entire album to everyone under the age of 18. Uh, this, uh, we use social media and uh, to, uh, this is the projected outlook for views for each platform. Uh, these are the four most famous platforms we think. We thought that the best way to get out to the public and the non-musician uh, group of people would be these four things. Uh, we use SoundCloud, Facebook, Bandcamp, and YouTube. We projected YouTube because we the least effective because, just because of the volume of videos added daily and there's 300 hours worth of videos added every minute and YouTube displays its content by popularity so adding a new video amongst the thousands and thousands of videos standing alone is not going to get enough views or likes to be seen by anyone without additional promotion outside of YouTube. Uh, yes. And so uh, for Bandcamp, uh, the demographic uh, users or the age of users is from 18 to 34. Uh, and there is a problem with using Bandcamp in our eyes. Before I joined KNS or Taking Strangers, I have never heard of Bandcamp. And I know a bunch of people that have never heard of it. And so the problem is a lot of non-musicians that don't produce music don't know what Bandcamp is. So they can't go on Bandcamp to uh, view our songs if they don't know what it even is. And a comparison from YouTube and Bandcamp, um, in the last month, Bandcamp had an average of 600,000 visits per day, while in 2012, um, YouTube had about um, 4 billion views a day. Um, Facebook was the only social media site that we used to promote this album besides Twitter, but we didn't really publicize it, publicize it too much on Twitter, as much as we did on Facebook. And we also earned many of the plays that we got through Facebook. Um, however, it's projected to lose 80% of its peak user base between now and 2017, meaning that people are going to lose interest in it. And you know, even right now, no one really goes on Facebook as much to look for music. Um, so yeah, as people lose interest, it's really going to like take a toll on, I guess, music distribution and all that. But for us, it really helped. Uh, get our word out there. Um, the platform that worked the best for us um, and the most people view was SoundCloud. And SoundCloud also has a lot of media added every day, and it's 12 hours of media per minute. But um, statistics say that 90% of what is uploaded to SoundCloud gets at least one play. And there's 70,000 new SoundCloud users every day. So you can see that as 70,000 potential new plays or follows. The 
the initial plan for our album was to promote it using social media sharing. The distribution, you know, we used Bandcamp, SoundCloud, Facebook, and YouTube. And for our sales, we distributed our album free initially to try to build our fan base and get followers. And the more, the larger follower base we have, they will be more interested to buy future albums so that we can charge for future albums. Um, Shadows was mainly promoted through Facebook and that received the most plays out of the three songs. Um, Bluebird was promoted through Facebook and Twitter, but on Twitter it was just like a single tweet promoting it. On Facebook, however, it was like promoting like, the whole thing. The whole album. And then uh, Real Life was uh, promoted differently. I uh, reached out to one of my close friends, uh, Keenan Holland, he was in this class. Uh, he has about 8,000 uh, followers on his SoundCloud account. And I asked him to repost my song and he uh, gladly did it. And so that's how I got most of my views. Which also, um, by reposting it with um, this user, they specialize in the hip hop, pop, and rap genre. So it's being distributed to people who are already established as followers of hip hop and rap. Um, so this graph shows the approximate increase after each method of sharing for each song. So on SoundCloud alone, before any sharing, each song got about 20 plays. And then after Real Life was reposted, it got um, an increase of about 300 plays. And then also the other two songs got a fraction of those plays as because if people go through the one, they can play through the album and see generally get a portion of whatever song is promoting. The next method we used of promotion was I posted shadows on Facebook and multiple people shared it. And so that increased um, by 1,500 plays and the other two increased by several hundred. Again, it's a fraction of whoever goes to the promoted song will most likely click on one of the other two in the album. And then Bluebird posted on Twitter, Twitter also increased the plays, but it's not as accurate as counting the added views for reposting it because you're still getting people playing from the reposting or from the Facebook post. Yes, and um, these statistics, it says um, she has about 1,800, or sorry, 1,000, yeah, 1,800 views on her uh, song. We checked. Uh, right before we came into uh, this room, and she had almost 2,000 views. She had about 1,928, I think I can remember. Yeah. It said views or plays? Plays, or I guess. Plays. Well, because they're different the way they're sort of talked about on that. Plays. It's plays, okay. So, yeah, sorry. This was, oh, yeah, this was taken from SoundCloud, which is the platform that got the most overall, so it's the easiest to collect data from. So you haven't, have you counted all the, so you put everything up on YouTube, so on all of those things, have you counted each of the plays for those? Yeah, or? we have yes, those. Okay, cool. All right, sorry to interrupt. Um, these are two pie charts that we used showing like how, how each song does in comparison to the others on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. And as you can see, SoundCloud was a lot more like successful in terms of like getting out to people because we got a lot more plays from SoundCloud than we did Bandcamp. And also, um, the links to each site are included on like every site that we have. So like we have links to like Bandcamp and Facebook and YouTube on our SoundCloud and you know, the same goes for like everything else. But um, even then SoundCloud still like proved to be like the most successful way to get out to people. Uh, for distribution, like I said before, our first album that we created, which is KNS, we decided it to be free and so we can get that out there to the public. And so as many uh, people listen to it, we can get a large enough fan base to start uh, distributing the album for money. And uh, our four um, main points were, like I said before, Bandcamp, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Facebook. And these are the four URLs to our channels or profiles. And you can come up to us and get the URLs after if you'd like. Um, this is a graph that shows the difference between SoundCloud, Bandcamp, and YouTube. If you can't see it, there's a 
Control tab pretty easy right there. It's only one because uh, the YouTube video had all three songs in one video. So we couldn't get the individual counts for each okay. song. So, you know, I mean, you can clearly see how, <laughs> how much better SoundCloud did than the other two. And again, every time we would post a better song, we included the links for each of our sites. And obviously, the majority of people went to SoundCloud. So you can see it seems to be the preferred method. Uh, for our sales, uh, I talked about this term distribution. Um, at first, it was free. It was initially free for distribution. We uh, we wanted to <coughs> create a fan base. Um, and every time we log on to our accounts, we uh, see a new view or play at least at least one every time, and that makes us very excited because every play or view could be one more fan um, dedicating their love to our album or a new sale later on in the future. And after building a fan base, we will uh, sell future albums for a game and net fund or game net fund. And uh, these are a few milestones. Um, as you can see, we really took off in November. Um, we started to publicize in November. We didn't actually gain much attention until late November and early December, which was when our our album came out. Um, so yeah, this is when we started publicizing the 19th to the 24th, and we reached out onto uh, SoundCloud and Bandcamp, Bandcamp, and we publicized through Facebook, and that was like, Okay, and then through the, from January 2016 on, as we continue to produce albums, we can distribute them through the established platform, and we can use the data gained from this album, like so far, SoundCloud seems to be doing the best, and sharing through Facebook is the most effective. We can really push through those platforms. And, um, oh, and the, my song in the genre of alternative pop seems to do the best, so we can also try focusing more on that field to see if that gives us more success than focusing, say, rap, for 